Hey guys, it's Lucid. Welcome to the announcement for an upcoming tournament which I'm hosting. It is going to be a two-round tournament. Uh, we're going to have six games, I think, uh, in the first round, followed by one game in the second round. And the way it will work is people are going to sign up. You will sign up in one of two brackets. You sign up in either the winner's bracket or in the dreamer's bracket. And uh, you don't get to choose. Uh, you automatically sign up in the winner's bracket. You need to let me know, of course. Uh, but if you've won a game before, that could be a blitz, it could be a play by email. Um, not single player games, and not a game where you're playing like a blitz with one friend, right? But any kind of public multiplayer game, if you've won it, then if you join this, you'll go in the winner's bracket. Uh, if you have not won a game before, um, including if you've never really played multiplayer much, I ideally you've played like one game before, but even if you haven't, this is okay to join. This is basically going to be like a, a new player's bracket. And um, there's going to be four games that come out of the 32 people that join the winner's bracket. And there's going to be two games which come out of the 16 people which join the dreamer's bracket. And the people who finish first and second in each of those games uh, are going to move on to the final round. And so the final round will have 12 players, whereas each of the games in the first round will only have eight players. So it'll be a bigger game in the, the second round. Uh, and this will probably take about a year to, for it to all play out. I mean, I don't know, but depends. It could be shorter. Like these could be, because the thing is, this round can't start until this round is finished. And I'm expecting this will probably take like three or four months for, the, for the, all of these games to finish. The reason uh, three or four months is... Uh, you know, again, we have to wait for the last player to finish. Uh, it, I would say it would be longer. Like if I took six uh, normal games and said how long would it take on average for the last of the six to finish, it'd probably be longer than four months. But eight player games don't take as long. Eight player games are relatively quick. They're bloody. Uh, you know, a few people kind of get ahead and then that's kind of how it's going to be a lot of times. And then, you know, I mean, all sorts of things can happen in multiplayer, but you typically don't have these huge, epic, long, drawn-out matches in only eight-player games. Um, the final game, though, will be a bit longer. Um, it's going to have 12 players, which is still a kind of, you know, battle royale. And, you know, it's going to be bloody. It's not like those crazy games that I put up for that are going to be, like, 20 players. Because those will last forever. But uh, anyway, um, that is the basic format. Um, there's a few things that are randomized in all of this. One of the things is when you join, you don't get to pick which game you're in. You'll just sign up in one of these brackets. And then when I get, you know, when it's uh, time to go, I will uh, basically, once everybody's in, we have the, the bracket, I'll do a roll and that's going to determine what game everybody gets put into. So your t who's in your game is all going to be randomized. Um, once you are in your team, uh, you are, uh, you're going to be given a drafting order and the drafting is going to be for, uh, picking your nation. What order you pick your nation. In. Uh, but before that happens, um, everybody gets to vote to ban a nation. You don't have to ban any nation. Uh, okay. I typed it wrong, but, um, but yeah, everybody can vote to ban a nation. And if any nation gets two votes out of the eight people that join, then that nation will be banned. So in general, you know, I expect not too many nations are going to get banned. Um, but anyway, that, that is an option. Then uh, what's going to happen is once the nation bans are done, we're just going to have people fire off in their vote order to get uh, to pick which nation they want to pick or want to play. Um, the era is also going to be random. Um, every time I kind of hit one here, it's going to recalculate. But anyway, you can see the, the eras change. Or well, they should change. I don't know why they're not changing here. Um, anyway, I'll make sure they're, they're changing. They should all randomly change, but, um, but yeah, the ears are going to be randomly rolled when, uh, people join. Uh, I mean, basically once, yeah, the, the players are put into their individual games. Um, and obviously we'll need to know that in order to, to figure out, you know, what you want to ban and what you want to pick. So that's basically how that part goes. Um, the other thing you might ask is, hey, there's only a first place. There's only one Pantocrator. How are we going to have a second place? Well, at the time of the first, uh, at the time the, the player wins, one of the players, um, what we're going to have happen is 
uh, we're going to see who has the second amount, second most amount of turn points, and that player will be given the second place. Um, yeah. So uh, the second place, if there's two people with the same amount of thrones that would be tied for second, um, then that will be that tie will be broken by who has the most provinces out of those two people. And then if that is broken, or I mean if that is a tie, which I don't expect, then that tie will be broken by who has the most dominion. So anyway, that way we get a second place. Uh, once everybody has, once all these games are closed and the first and second place people have been seeded into the final round, um, we're going to have a draft for, uh, basically for this game and the winner, uh, will, the winners all are going to get kind of a higher tier priority in terms of their pick for the nation. Um, and the losers or not the losers, but the second place winners or the almost one, however we want to call it. Uh, they will get, basically, they're going to get the draft spots uh, 7 through 12. And the winners will get draft spots 1 through 6. So, uh, that is basically it for the format. Um, a few other details. Uh, we've mentioned the eras are going to be random. Uh, we've mentioned the banning. Uh, normal diplomacy for dominions. Uh, cataclysm on turn 75. Uh, the throne count is going to be equal to the player count, and it's going to be level 2 thrones. And the thrones required to win is going to be the player count div divided by two. So for the uh, eight player games, there's going to be uh, eight thrones with uh, five thrones to win. And uh, <clears throat> and yeah, here's the stuff for second place, how it's going to be determined. The mods we're going to be playing with are things that don't alter the game very much. Um, or I think are, I would consider it to be improvements uh, but don't change too many of the fundamentals which so anyway it's going to be worthy heroes uh, improved casting ai and then lucid's thematic gym gym these are also just the mods that i put on all my games so that's what we're going to do the tournament with um this one the improved ai casting or improved casting ai it's been kind of new but it's been used in a lot of blitzes now and uh i'm probably going to roll an update which is there's only just a couple things that needed to be tweaked like the ai still likes casting panic and Panic can be okay, but uh, anyway, so we need to tweak that one thing. I'll probably roll a version just for that uh, before we, we start the tournament. But otherwise, this is I think it's been pretty well tested in multiplayer. Um, the map will be using Map Nuke, uh, the latest version, which has, I think, better uh, balance for underwater starts. Um, and that is about it. So uh, I put a link in the description for signups, so you can sign up in my Discord. Uh, there will be a channel there called Tournament Discussion Thread or something like that, and that's going to be where we we organize all of this uh, and basically do that. So, uh, in summary, uh, everybody can sign up. Uh, I will have released it like a day early, so my Patreon folks can sign up. But I mean, a lot of my games, the spaces are kind of limited, and it's mostly Patreon folks. But in this one, there's so many slots. I think. Uh, most of you who want to join probably can. Um, and I think it'll be fun. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Oh, hey, I forgot one more thing. Um, I forgot to mention, but if um, I get knocked out, which is very likely, uh, if I get knocked out in the first round, then I will become an observer in the second round, and I will cast it. Um, there is... if. If I do make it to the second round, um, then I obviously won't be observing because that would give me a pretty ridiculous advantage. Uh, but I will probably get, uh, if there's another streamer who joins, um, I'll probably, hand, you know, and I know them, I'll, I'll probably ask them if they want to, uh, to observe if they get knocked out. Uh, and there's a mod that allows you to do that, and I think it's called, I forget what it's called. But uh, apparently it works pretty well. Uh, it summons like an invisible scout, basically, uh, for one player in every single province. So uh, I'll just have to mod mod the map to make that happen. Um, but otherwise, yeah, uh, that is that. Thank you all. See you.